Hey, fire signs. Thank you for coming to my channel. Um, I am doing your daily love reading for February 6, 2019. I will go back to doing the uh, dailies by Zodiac after um, my reading for the 6th. I just had a lot of channeled messages um, to get out for you guys. So with me channeling all day, uh, I am just not have the time or energy to uh, do 12 separate dailies. So after tomorrow, you guys will receive uh, your dailies by Zodiac. So let's take you down here and we will get started. Spirit angels, what messages do you have for our fire signs for the 6th of February? What do they need to know and love? All right, we have the wheel, the hanged man, and the queen of swords for your guys' energy. The person you are dealing with has the eight of pentacles, the chariot, and the four of wands. Your guys' outcome for the day. What is our outcome for Wednesday, February 6th? Thank you. We got the King of Cups and the Lovers. Oops. All right. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Wands and the World. Holy cow. Amazing energy. The next card out is the Moon. We are in the new moon of Aquarius as of today, um, deep seated passion that's going to lead you to a 10 of cups happiness, possibly with a Virgo, but somebody who is just as spiritual as you are. And there's temperance right under the patience of the seven of pentacles. So very amazing energy for you fire signs for Wednesday, the sixth. So, um, your guys' energy is the wheel, uh, karma coming back in the most positive way. Um, this is also dealing with fated events, dealing with karmic partners. Um, this is something that is destined to come in for you. Uh, yeah, the, the universe, however, is waiting to give you your, your blessings, your good, uh, your good fortune because you seem to be uh, stuck. You're putting yourself in that position though, fire signs. You could be waiting on somebody. You could be, uh, yeah, you could be waiting on a partner you're in separation from, but there's certain people, certain situations, certain things that it's time to cut yourself away from. Time to detach from something that is holding you back, something that's tying you down, something that's causing you uh, to not be able, causing you to be restricted. Yeah, it's time to take that truth, that ace of swords that the queen holds onto and, uh, let the truth set you free is what I'm hearing. But there is a faded event that is coming for you after you come out of this time of, uh, being stuck or not really being stuck because you put yourself here, but just this time of waiting um, you are going to become more uh, knowledgeable about a situation, more enlightened about something. But you're needing to cut yourself away from a situation in your life right now. The person you are dealing with, they are working hard. They're working hard on their spirituality. They're working hard on bringing the material into the, uh, or the spiritual into the physical. Um, they're, they know what it takes to make a relationship work. Um, and they're also trying to get their pinnacles in order here so they can uh, break free also from their situation that they are dealing with, whether this be work, they could want to start their own business uh, or be it something else, family, uh, another relationship. They're putting in the hard work to gain some financial stability because they are moving forward, moving ahead, moving on, um, leaving the tower situation that is going on in their life currently and heading towards this divine union, this uh, four of wands um, connection. 
they are working hard to be able to leave the situation they're in so they can begin to build a life with you. Um, yeah, and that's what's putting you in this hangman is waiting on this person to come towards you um, because you know that this person is your destiny. You know that this person is exactly who you want, who you're meant to be with, and you don't mind waiting. But there is something in your space and your energy that you need to take a uh, look at, take a look at a different perspective and cut it out of your life, whatever it is that's holding, holding you back in any way. For some of you, it's uh, cutting the, uh, the attachment to the outcome of this four of wands. Once you cut yourself free from needing this relationship that you're waiting on, once you cut yourself away from that, once you um, get to the point of healing where you are okay with uh, them not coming back, that is when it's going to come in for you. Your guys' shared energy is the queen of pentacles, nurturing yourself, knowing your value, knowing your worth. Um, nurturing the relationships in your life. Um, you're finding success. You are finding popularity, fire signs. You could be very uh, in the public eye. But um, this is more importantly, finding success in uh, nurturing your own needs and wants and closing out major life cycles. You are only going to be depending on yourself for your happiness, your wealth, your uh, health and everything above because you're ending a major life cycle with somebody with something with a job a career a person and you're finding a lot of success this is also traveling around the world because you are in the public eye you are um, known by people so you could be traveling and that is making you bank you are very well to do um, on your own you don't need nobody to take care of you uh, and you're just taking the logical, cold, not cold, but the logical approach um, after being hurt by somebody, after coming out of this time of healing, you know that you deserve better, you know that you deserve more, and you know that you're not going to settle with the Queen of Swords. For a different group of you, this is, it is fated, it is destined for you to be successful, for you to be this uh, person that travels around and and is very successful and makes their own coin. That is your destiny. That is your fate. Um, and you realize this after this person put you in this time of healing um, and awoke you to your true life's purpose, your true life's path. And now you are just slaying it on your throne while you're waiting for them. Your guys' outcome of the day is the King of Cups. Somebody or you has unconditional love for somebody um, for this person, this person also feels they're very emotional, very uh, in their feelings, but they don't express them very much. It's hard for them to speak about how they feel. It's hard for them to tell you how much you mean to them, even though you mean the world. Um, and they are going to reach out and uh, let you know they pick you. They are leaving their current situation. And since you waited for them, they are coming towards you or not since you waited for them, but you waited for them to leave this situation and they are picking you. Um, this could be a Gemini, uh, especially if it's in their moon or, or in their yeah moon or rising. Um, but they have decided to finally follow their heart before they were focused on a very earthy uh, energy. They, they were very focused on their finances. I got to do this and this before I can do this. Um, you knew this was your fated partner. You knew this was your destiny. You know this was a divine relationship, but they are now realizing it. They are following their heart. They are going to go within themselves and listen to their heart and soul. They are going to choose you. They are going to come back because Archangel Michael is blessing this union. And as we know, he blesses all soulmate and twin flame uh, unions. So he is putting the two of you back together again. And you will and are receiving communication about this with the Eight of Wands. They are communicating to you that, that they want this stable foundation with you. They want to build a life with you. They want to build a home with you. Um, because why wouldn't they? You are looking absolutely fantabulous. And uh, they want to be a part of your life again. They miss you. 
they're reaching out and letting you know that they should have, they should have followed their heart a long time ago, but they didn't, but they are now. And they want you to be there for them when they come towards you, when they, uh, move in your direction. This is, um, receiving a text message, a voicemail, uh, I don't see you guys actually talking, talking, but it is a form of communication wanting you to get back a hold of them. You're deciding whether or not you should, uh, and it is safe for you to love in this situation. They are for real this time, uh, especially with the four of wands, the lovers and the wheel of fortune, all three here in a row. Um, this is, uh, sent here by the divine. This is divine timing. Um, you have three majors down the middle as well. Uh, divine timing is here for you, for those of you who are um, waiting for somebody to return. You also had the lover in your uh, as your second card out as a shared energy, just to put it out there. You also have success in with the fated event. This is most definitely a twin flame soulmate connection coming together. They are for real this time. They have ended a major life cycle. They're coming towards you. They are going to need some time of healing, but they are making the trip towards you because it is your destiny. This is a destined event that is happening today on February 6th. So, or, you know, time is in or time is fluid. So give or take a couple of days. It's coming for your fire signs. I hope you have a beautiful Wednesday and I will see you next time. God bless.